Hi everyone, Ashlyn Keys, a YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about reading cards. Um, so a couple months ago I did a review on different oracle decks that I have. Um, I do give readings and um, I, I love helping people and I love what I do. Um, I love guiding people the best way that I can. Um, I do believe in God, I am a Christian, but I also do believe that he puts people here on earth to be able to give messages to other people to help them and um so <clears throat> my last time i did reviews on my like my rose oracle deck and my mindful messages and fairy deck and all that but my husband recently got me a new deck that is called the healing deck um and it has different mantras in it as well and um like i'll, I'll show you guys the deck and I do like the deck, and I've been able to help and guide a lot of people with it. But the only thing I would say about the deck is that, like, I don't like how it's double-sided. So all of my decks actually are only one-sided card. They only have a picture on the back, and then, like, like they have, like, a print or a picture on the back. And then the front is um, a little image with, a, a, like... A, a guiding a guiding message and um but this deck is different so this is called the healing mantra deck and as you can see i use it a lot because it's really worn out and there's 52 cards in it and i'll show you guys what they look like so hold on and let me get this open okay so it comes with a guidebook the healing mantra deck by matt can or Con. I don't really know how to pronounce that last name, but this is what it looks like. And then on the back, it has his picture. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, I like the way he words things and the way um, he's able to express each card. Um, I think it hits a lot of key points and it's able to help people get the message that they need. So I will show you a couple of the cards that come with the deck. So I do like that they're like huge. Like as you can see in my hand, they're like really big. They're not small cards like some of the other cards that I have. Um, the mindful uh, message cards that I showed you guys in my other video called or uh, Oracle Deck Review, I think is what I titled it. Um, I have a deck where the cards are like really really small and and like they fit in the palm of my hands but like these are really huge I'd say this they're about like four inch cards uh, maybe five inches like inches tall and then I'd say the width is about like three inches so they're pretty big cards but so the front of them there's a symbol and then there's a like words okay there's like words and then on the back is the me is the message and usually on um reading cards the message is on the front with the card or, or the back of the card excuse me and then there's just like a picture in the front there like it doesn't have any words on the front you can it's just basically like this usually most reading cards the front of them looks like this there's no words. There's just a picture. And then on the back of the card, there's usually a message. But this one, there's a message in the front and there's a message in the back. So this one is called Encountering Conflicts. And it says, I don't choose sides. I take a stand. So it's basically the card of being subjective. Um, not really being judgmental against anybody. Um, and then there's this one deconstructing doubt so each of his cards are different colors and have different symbols on them the back of this one says only my beliefs are in my way so as you can see this is what the card is and then here's the message on the back here's another one this one is pink allowing appreciation the value of my life increases each time I appreciate every, everything in it. So you got 
a pink card, turquoise card, and another pink card. And then if you pull another one, you got bluish purple. So expressing free will. On the back it says, my choices determine how, I, how brightly I shine. So as you can see, this is how you read these cards. And whenever I've read for somebody, um, I show them the front of the card and the back. So that way they know what the title of the card is and what, what the basic message of the card is. So the front of the card is the message, but going into a little, little more detail is the back of the card. And then if you want to get into greater detail, you can read from the manual what the meaning of the cards is. So if you open up the manual, I'll just go to, to one of the cards. So... If, let's just say I pulled the Balancing Brain card. So if I pull the Balancing Brain card, I would go to um, the, con the front of this book and it would show me which page to flip to you. And then the Balancing Brain card would be on page number nine. So then I would read from there and Balancing Brain says, when the brain is balanced, you are no longer bouncing back and forth between being and doing. You allow each action to be expressed from a space of mindfulness, peace, and ease. In a balanced brain, each inner battle has been won, which makes it easier to navigate around those whose minds are still entrenched in conflict. This space, From this space, you are able to do all that needs to be done while operating from your, mind, your soul's natural state of being. This mantra is ideal for reducing stress at work, being more mindful parent, and increasing levels of accountability. So this is what balancing the brain looks like. And as you can see, that's what the, it would look like for the other cards too. It has the symbol of the card and then the title of the card. And then it goes into greater detail down here. So it's these are a really great deck. Um, they, they have, um, really good messages and, um, they're, they're different from, from the other Oracle cards because they talk a lot about, like, like I said, like healing. So they aren't like about love. They aren't a lover's deck. They aren't, um, you know, a, a conception deck. Um, they aren't a tarot card. They're, it, they, these are affirmation slash slash mantra card so a mantra is something that you repeat in your head over and over again or you can say it out loud even you don't have to keep it in your head and you focus on that and you keep repeating that over and over again um and until um you kind you finally figure out how to take control over what is out of line and um, essentially, that's kind of the same way that prayer, prayer, praying or prayer works, because obviously, if you pray to God and you pray over and over and over and over again, the same prayer, then sooner or later, God's going to answer your prayer because in the Bible, it says, if you ask, you shall receive. So it's the same thing, you know, with mantras and affirmations and just positive quotes and things like that. If you start thinking that way and you get your mindset in the right place, things will start coming true. So, um, I, I, if I were to put a review on these cards, this, this mantra healing deck, I would have to give a 10 out of 10 because they go into great detail. Um, they get the message across. They're different, pretty colors. Like I said, they're, they got blue, purplish, turquoise, um, uh, pink and um, they are really thick they're like cardboard almost type texture cards um, they're easy to work with um, and I like I said before the size of them is so nice because the smaller deck of cards like that are kind of the same size as like like poker cards or something like that they're they're like easier to handle and stuff like that. Like I said in my other review, but I just, um, with these, th these specific mantra healing deck cards, I like the texture and like the, 
the flexibility of the cards. So when I'm shuffling, they're more easier to see which one pops out and stands out more and um, which message is sticking out for the person. Because um, if you get those cards that are like kind of have a slick feeling to them, sometimes when you're shuffling, you can accidentally drop a load of cards um, on the ground and then you you're thinking you know okay is that supposed to are all of those cards supposed to be a message for somebody or was that just because it's a more slick type of filling of a, of the card so these ones are really thick and cardboard like like I was telling you guys so they don't slide really easy they have friction to them so when a card really sticks out or falls like flies out when you're shuffling you'll know that that's the message for the person. So, um, I like the, let me put these cards back in. I like the box that they come in too. Um, like my rose deck and my other card or other, um, video, I meant to say. They come with like a really sturdy, um, nice cardboard box. And, um, I'll show you guys in a second. So, they come in a really thick, sturdy, nice box, and there's a little place for your um, fingers to, you know, push down and pull up on the lid, um, so they're easy to access right away. On the back, um, it just talks a little bit about um, the author and stuff, and it says, this uh, card deck from Gift, a Gifted Healer and Intuitive Matt Con or Can, I, I'm not really sure how you say his name, contains 52 channeled mantras that have been encoded with inhaling energy to realign your mind, body, heart, and soul. With this deck, users will strengthen their connection to the universe and remembrance of their innate wholeness and perfection. Mantras include, The light is always with me. I was born of infinite joy. I am worthy of all pleasure my heart desires. My intuition flows whenever I am still and more. Your life's greatest purpose and its deepest meaning will be revealed to you um, one magical healing mantra at a time. So that's what it says on the back of he on here and a little bit more down below. And the price, I don't remember what exactly I paid for because I got these. I or I didn't get these. Um, excuse me. I didn't get these. My husband did. Um, but it, sa it does say on the back that they were... Um, $23.99 in the U.S. here, and in Canada, they're $31.99. Um, so, but I'm not really sure if that was the real price he paid for these, or if he got a, like, a deal or a bargain, or a certain percentage taken off or something, I don't know. Um, but, um, they, they're more, they're pretty expensive. Um, they're more on the expensive side, but I love them and I use them all the time. So good review, 10 out of 10. Um, I hope this helps you guys. And if you're looking, if you're looking into these like on Amazon or eBay or just the internet, or you come across them at a store, I would definitely say yes to the, this deck. Um, otherwise, um, uh, not much to say. I, I work with them every day and I'm going to continue doing that and I might use them um, on this Friday on the full moon because there's supposed to be a full moon this Friday and I can tell because everybody has been getting like foggy minded, um, really irritable. Um, then there's other people that are really super happy. People that are, not, are, are normally not so happy are really, really happy and then there's other people that are getting really grumpy, you know. Um, negative moods and and just acting really different um so uh i can tell that the full moon's gonna be full soon <laughs> i can tell it's coming um but i'll be using i'll probably be using these on the full moon i'm not sure but um i think that's that i have um six or seven decks now i'm not sure but um that's the most recent one that i got is this this healing deck so um, great review. That's all I have to say about them. And, um, I hope you guys liked my review on them and I will be on with another life topic.